everyone, this is Emma Lyoman and on live video course Piano Well. I couldn't escape this topic because so many teachers talk about this and it's been on my mind honestly for a very long time. Uh, it's a very important part of relaxed hands, a very important part of good technique and correct on production. Um, I wanted to share with you my thoughts about this because there are many people who who really shares different um, vision about this topic and this kind of really always confuse people. When teachers say about importance of relaxed hands that they would also mention that we should avoid to relax hands completely because mm, we couldn't play anything in this case, which is true, I agree. But, like I said, it really confuses students and they cannot find this balance between good, healthy, relaxed hands and good, healthy, tensed hands. Um, they simply cannot feel this. and They keep practicing like they did, keep accumulating this bad energy within the body and hands. So let's take a look at the very first stage, why actually we start um, tense our hands excessively. Um, I think it happens because while we're playing we have to accomplish so many small little musical nuances that are written in the score and um, because we were not taught to actually imagine these nuances first in our head to control it through our imagination we're trying to fix it and control it by uh, tension of our hands. So all the like making good tone, accurate dynamics and voicing, good phrasing, increased velocity in our fingers, we would kind of intuitively somehow tense our hands without any imagination in our head. And this is, I think, the cause of this unnecessary tension in hands. What we need to do is actually other way around. We need to tense our mind but relax our hands. <laughs> and if we want to master uh, accurate uh, dynamics and voicing and all this stuff, then um, we would first imagine notes very clear in our hands and in our head, and only then we will touch the key. And this is the way how we control our fingertips, our wrist, our hand and finger muscles. Of course, I should say that that would bring some additional necessary tension to your hands, but it's, the quality of energy would be absolutely different. Um, it would be free energy, flexible energy, um, healthy energy, <laughs> what else? <laughs> Breathing energy. Um, it would bring real power to your, to your performance instead of that suppressed energy that uh, leads to unhealthy and blocked energy within our body and eventually it causes that harsh sound, harsh tone while we're playing the piano and even more it can cause hands fatigue and some hands injuries. So by learning imagine sounds in our hands and um, by learning also intonate uh, notes. I will talk about this a little bit later. We uh, learn basically <laughs> correctly exert our fingers before we touch the key to produce the sound exactly that we want and then also it really helps to release unnecessary tension right after we play the key because many students still suffering from you know unnecessary tension because they simply don't let go this tension. They press the key and then they cannot relax the hands. So hands can never exhale, can never breathe out. So you basically learn imagine sound, play it, and then relax your hand. Imagine sound, exert your finger, play it, and then relax your hands. After every note you have to relax your hands. <laughs> and you know, if you, if you have watched some of my tutorials, you would probably notice that when I'm playing, I'm playing with so much ease, so much effortless, with good tone, with good speed. 
and it feels the same way <laughs> really um, I'm just bringing my sleepy relaxed hands on the piano and start playing um, feeling no any technical limits how do I do this I mean I can I can um, even though my hands relaxed you know I make every single nuance that is written in the score I made accurate articulations, legata, staccata, accents, um, tenuta, all range of dynamics starting from pianissimo to fortissimo with these little crescendos and diminuendos, not missing anything, but still my hands relaxed. So I'm doing this through the um, energy that was created in my mind by um, my imagination. Our imagination has energy, and if you imagine sound, that energy starts controlling your way of playing. So basically, I control everything that I'm playing, not because I'm trying to tense my hands or body more, because I'm afraid to make something wrong, but because I create this energy in my mind, and that energy controls my playing. <laughs> now, okay, <laughs> let's say you trust me and you're like, okay, Emma Newman said we should relax hands and bring to the keyboard. Okay, you do this, you bring your sleepy hands to the keyboard and you try to start playing and of course, for me, that's not surprisingly, you can play anything like this with good sound and good speed. But uh, that's a very good beginning, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, this is the true moment for you to see and hear what you really have in your mind. <laughs> how much you can imagine, how much you are imagining in your mind while you're playing your piece. How much knows you're able to imagine to actually clear here in your head while playing the piece. And um, this is the moment when you will discover that um, if you don't tense your hands while playing, you don't cover, you cannot cover your empty head anymore. <laughs> so let me explain guys how you do, how you go on from this relaxed, uh, absolutely not able to play anything hands to, uh, to the good healthy tense hands that I have while playing. <laughs> um, we need to uh, develop our fingertips, our flexible wrist, and um, muscles of hands and fingers. And I will not get tired to repeat you one more time that if you just try to figure out in your head how to feel all of this without actually correct sensation of this, you cannot, because you cannot really feel this. Music is all about feeling. Like I said, you can copy another pianist um, and do the same movement that he does, but for you it, it would be felt absolutely differently. <laughs> so to be able to find the right feelings, we should start with imagining sounds. So you can only control fingertips, wrist and finger muscles through imagination and through your um, internal singing, through your intonation. So the first thing that we need to do, um, we need to activate our fingertips and make them being lively and smart. And um, the only way to do this is um, to let the energy of imagined sound naturally flow through your body to your fingertips and um, basically you will have to learn how to imagine every single note that is written in the score and when you have this good habit to press the key only after you have clear idea of the sound that you're about to play in your head then soon you will feel this imagined sound on the tip of your finger it's a very delicate sensation, delicate fingers, but it feels like itching a little bit. Some kind of energy itching. <laughs> and again, guys, about tension hands. If you tense your hands, 
if you have this unhealthy tension in your hands, then uh, that would prevent, that would block the energy of imagined sound freely flow to your fingertips. In other words, that even if you imagine sound and you want to feel your fingertips, uh, if you tense your hands, you can never feel them. So you have to start with absolutely relaxed hands, imagine sound, and then you will feel it on your fingertips. Again, um, for me, it also took some time. It doesn't happen overnight. So don't be frustrated if you like do everything, but still <laughs> not get any results. It takes some time to make it. So another thing is um, flexible and free wrist to make it not bad and stiff. We actually need to let our wrist follow the melody pattern that is written on the score. So if the, if the note to the right, we move our wrist to the right, to the left, to the left. Again, when you play it in the, in the final stage, all these um, um, exaggerated movements that you do will be almost unnoticeable. Again, when, if, you play my, if, you, if you watch my tutorials, you can see that I'm not usually do this, but trust me, inside my muscle do this movement. So don't be uh, um, so afraid to make this movement at the very first time. A anyway, <clears throat> so when you imagine notes with the same movements to the right and to the left, um, that again, that energy, it's all about energy, <laughs> that energy of imagined sound movement would somehow feel your wrist inside and um, that would make your wrist be alive. So if I imagine sound with movement to the right and I kind of feel it over here, then it brings natural energy to my wrist and my wrist starts singing as well. <laughs> so it's not dead anymore. Uh, also, we need to um, develop muscles in our fingers and we do this through intonation technique. If you don't really know what is this, I think I mentioned about that in my recent video. Um, okay, I'm gonna put the link here. <laughs> so, when you... Um, okay, I was distracted. Ah, okay, anyway, when you... Um, feel resistance between notes through your singing, that energy of resistance, that energy of effort between notes would let your finger muscle exert in the right way. And this is how you're going to control the note you're about to play. So if I play... And while, do, while singing this distance in my head internally with this resistance, this resistance would start, um, would let the muscle over here uh, start exerting. I already pre-feel the next note. And the way you intonate, the way you would play in this case. Uh, so this is how you control finger muscles and also you may use weight while intonating and that will bring additional freedom to your body and to your hands so if you would um, play, play something with weight it would really help you to um, to let the energy freely flow through your arms to the keyboard. Basically guys, you learn to uh, you develop your fingertips, your wrist and your um, fingers uh, by imagining sounds, by internally intonating them and that energy will start controlling your playing and in this case you can relax your hands. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually show you um, how uh, 
the whole process of playing a few notes like under the microscope uh, I'm gonna explain every single move that I make so you would understand um, what I feel and you may try the same <laughs> so you imagine let's say how I, how I would start I would have clear idea of the sound that I'm about to play for example this G I'm gonna imagine in uh, ocean of cellos and that would already bring sensation over here that would let uh, my last joint to tend, to be tensed enough but still my hand would be relaxed so then I would also imagine this, move, this sound in the movement to the left and um, that would bring uh, flexibility to my wrist my wrist would sing together with my imagination and uh, then I would just bring absolutely relaxed and sleeping hand on the keyboard and um, simply play the note that I already pre-feel with my fingertip. Now, right after I play the note, I have tension while I'm playing it, but up, oh, I relieve it, I release it. So I let go any tension and because my fingertip is very active and kind of tenacious I can hold on on this and relax my hand. If you don't have your fingertip then if you try to relax your hands you would just slip down. So I imagine sound, I feel it over here, I play it, I relax my hand and relax my fingertips. Then I following with my re I following sound movement with my wrist, and at the same time I would intonate internally, feeling resistance between notes. And because I'm making it with resistance, I would feel that the muscles of my next finger is exerting and ready to play the note. Then I would I would reach this note. I would play it while imagining it, and then again I would release tension right away. And then the same thing. So I move my wrist, I still imagining sounds, I intonate it with resistance, I play the note while imagining it, and then I release any tension. So if I play. necessary tension to play the, the sound that I want to, to play but my hand would be relaxed so this is very important when you play any etudes <laughs> uh, or studies <clears throat> um, so basically yeah guys in two words my video the summary you can say it this way you imagine sounds and you intonate distance between notes with intonation to make this energy that would control your performance let you um, express very small musical nuances very accurately and at the same time would develop your fingertips uh, flexible wrist uh, good finger muscles that would let you play with free absolutely relaxed hands so I'm saying that when you play you relax your hands the only tension you have you have here not here and this tension would bring healthy tension over here <laughs> um, Alright guys, I hope that was not too long, you got the idea and um, we'll see you in my next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, bye bye.